Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Today we are going to be doing our baling. Well, actually it's going to be tomorrow because we need to go to bed first and then we can do our baling. And then once we've done our baling, we are going to sell all of that straw and we are going to make an absolute fortune. At least that's the plan. Now, um, there was different things that you could do. I think you can get like um, varnish or something to repair the boards, but I don't think it's going to actually let me do anything on here. Nothing there. Uh, what about if I go to that one? Nothing on there either. There was something about that you could like you could use varnish and, and stuff like that. But I think we've actually got to go and we've got to buy stuff in order to be able to do that first uh, from over at the store. So we're not going to worry about that today. We're going to we're going to worry about getting the baling done out there and the uh, get, getting the field finished. So one, once that's done over there, then we're going to sort of do up our farm. Um, finish doing up the farm. We need we need to get everything else finished in here, and then once all that's done, I'm not really sure. I would like to do some fishing. I definitely want to do some fishing, so that is on the to-do list. Uh, let me just shut the door. I don't really want to have that door wide open while I'm sleeping, and I don't want that one wide open either while I'm sleeping. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get let's get some sleep. Let's get some rest. And I'm really keen to see what we can get with this. Now, I've been given all sorts of advice about what I should be buying or what I should be doing, uh, what I should be upgrading and so on. Uh, if I want to upgrade the house, I can. I've got to go and buy the building materials first. So I will keep that in mind. Uh, let me just take a look in here. What do we got? Uh, 62, that's 45, that's 40. I don't really want to waste that lot. So if I go into here, I go into the pantry. Uh, those are 45. The milk is 15, 10 for those. So let's let's take a couple of these. Uh, move to inventory. I'll move a couple. I'll move three of those. And then if I eat those a minute, we'll eat three. No, no, apples. Apples. I want to eat the apples. So we eat three apples. There we go. So we our condition is looking pretty good. We're going to go and check the greenhouse a minute and see what the food condition is over there. Let me come out and um, keep the door shut. We don't want the wildlife running indoors. And we'll take a look at the greenhouse and we'll see if our food in here is ready. We should be ready soon. Oops, that one, that one goes that way. Um, how are we doing? How are we doing, babies? How are my babies doing? There's, there's nothing to say what we should or shouldn't be doing. I did find out something. So many of you said what I need to be doing. And so many of you pointed out how I say that, you know, you're bound to be screaming at the screen because of stupid things that I've been doing. And lo and behold, most people last week spent a lot of the episode screaming at the screen, Frith, you fool! Frith, what are you doing? No, it's right there in front of you! What are you doing? Pay attention! So, um, yeah, I, I didn't actually pay attention. I apologise. Actually, I want to come out of there. I just want to go to the map first. I apologise for not paying attention. I should have paid attention. I didn't. I've let you down. Building depot. Train station. Vehicle store. No, it's none of those. It's none of the above. It is gas station. Agricultural store. That's the one we want to go to. We want to go to that bus stop right there. Oop, no, I don't want to put the star down. So we go there, and then we go to the bus stop. We want to go down to that one down there. Oop. It's just done something strange. Something about... Oh, there we go. Agricultural store. So I came along here. I went waltzing on into the agricultural store like this, and I looked around... I could find nothing. I was beating my head against the wall. I was wailing and weeping. Why, oh why, can I not find anything? And I didn't look up in the top left-hand corner where it says, Enter Agricultural Store. You'd think I played the games with my eyes closed. You really would. Here we go. So we can get grass stored in farm storage. Um... All stored in farm storages. We've got more. Chickens. Oh, look. We have chicken hen food. 100 kilos. Uh, price per kilo is 120. Now, we got 504 euros. We can buy some chickens. We can do this. So, we... we, we um, had, had, oh, there, there. Ah, I see. Right. Ten, 10 chickens. We can buy 10 pieces of chicken. I'm going to buy 10 pieces of chicken. I'm actually hoping that turns out to be 10 whole chickens. Achievement unlocked. Breeder. Right, more. And can I buy more than 10? I'm hoping so. It says zero. I, I want, is 10 the maximum that I can, apparently 10 is the maximum that I can get. 
I now have 384 euros. I've got 100 kilos of chicken food. I don't know how much more chicken food I'm going to need. We're going to run back now and we're going to take a look at the chooks and we're going to see how they're doing. So let's just come on back up here. We'll go to the bus stop. We go all the way up over here and we are going to leap back in. There we go. Right next to the farm. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Run, Frith. Pump those crazy legs. Chickens. We have chickens. 10 chickens owned hen food is 100 kilos. I'm curious how quickly 10 little tiny chickens are going to consume 100 kilos of chicken food. I'm hoping it's not going to be that quick, but you never know. I don't see anything in the nest boxes. I don't see anything anywhere in the nest boxes. I'm looking down. I'm looking down. There's nothing here yet. So these apparently they're not instant layers, which is fine. We don't mind that, but we have our chickens look at them they are so beautiful there it is oh no i don't do that i don't want to shoot the chicken there is our chicken she looks beautiful in the morning sunlight as it plays across her feathers it is wonderful there she is our wonderful beautiful chicken right let's go back up through here and open 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 let me through and then close the door again we don't want the chickens to get out we've only just got them so we're going to go racing back over here we're going to get our baler we're going to get our tractor we go well they're actually all joined together so we don't need to do anything else to them we just need to get on we need to start up this tractor and we need to start the baling now it doesn't look like you can actually unfold the baler which is a little bit of a shame as far as i'm concerned because it's not quite realistic enough for me I would like to be able to... You don't actually unfold the baler so much as the hitch moves around. It doesn't do anything, though. It doesn't work like that. So we just literally turn on harvester like that. And then let's see. How does this work? How do we make bales? How do we make bales? We bring it on round. We're making bales. Um, I'm going to press T. And I'm going to use it like that. So how much do we actually eat into this? You know, we are... Actually, that's not too bad. It, it's it's sort of, I'm I'm not really sure. It, it's popping the way it pops the bales out is quite comical, but that's that's fine. I can live with that. Um, it's it's how much straw. It's difficult to see how much straw is being left behind when you come over. I'm I'm getting a lot of straw from the right hand side of the baler, which I I'm not particularly fond of. It does look a little bit peculiar, but I can live with it. I can live with it. It looks like we're going for a tractor's width on that. I'm gonna bring this one in round here and. There we go. It's giving us an indication roughly of what we're picking up with the baler. Um, I'll grab that little bit there. And we can come on down this way. So pretty much, is this is you know absolutely nowhere near realism, this. Um, especially the way the bale is launching out. But it's still baling. It's still creating bales. And we're going to have a whole load of hay to bale up after this is done. Um, a, a whole load of hay to pick up on our um, trailer. And we're going to be able to use that. So that is actually really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to getting that loaded up. Get it over to the shop. Get it sold. We're going to sell and we're going to make a fortune. I left a little tiny bit of straw behind there. That's all right. We can live with that. That's I've picked everything up there. We've got a little bit more here. It is difficult to sort of... Whoa. Okay. Um, we got a little lump in the field there. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. This <laughs> thing is like a cannon. Seriously, we got we got a, we, we we got a working bale cannon going on here. Look at it shooting them out the back. You ready? There we go. At least it launches them straight. It, it does lay them down fairly straight. Um, I'm wiggling all over the place here. My driving does leave a little bit to be desired. I'm I'm blaming the keyboard. I am. I'm I'm claiming that this is the fault of the keyboard and not my own fault at all. And we'll see. Uh, let's keep on going. Keep on moving. Keep on moving on and up and forward and whichever else direction you want you want to talk about um so i've done i it's actually really really cool to get back to small bailing i mean i've never actually small bailed with a tractor like this but i have done plenty of small bailing with other tractors uh john deere 2650 i've done quite a lot with also using an international 767 i think it was i think it was a seven it might have been a 778 old international harvester tractor we've used that one i did a little bit of baling myself with the international but i usually didn't do the baling at all i didn't not i did not do very much of the baling at all not the small baling i was the one that rode around on the back we used to have a flat eight sledge on the back and i would sit on the flat eight sledge 
making sure that the bales came out because the flat H sledge wasn't the best. And so I would sit on the back riding around health and safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely health and safety first. Although if you fell off of that thing, if you fell into it, yeah, it'd probably hurt because it would cause it to jam and ride up over you and squash you and probably, you know, break bones or something. Um, I didn't do that. I, I would stay, um, I would stay right perched on the back and try to keep the bales together. So because if you didn't do that, then when you came back to pick up the flat eights later on with the load all and the flat eight grab, you would really genuinely struggle to, um, to be able to pick them all up because they'd, they'd be everywhere. And so you'd have to keep getting out of the cab in order to do it. So because I would ride around on the back or somebody would ride around on the back of the flat eight sledge, we could always keep the bales in flat eights so that when we went round again later to pick them all up, it was really easy. It was just straightforward. You just go straight up to them. You pick them up. You, you um, dump them up onto the lorry and then they would be the move. We very rarely used a tractor and trailer to move them. It was usually loaded onto a lorry because a lot of the straw on the place that I worked back then um, not the straw, the, 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 a lot of the hay was sold straight off the field to other farmers. They didn't keep very much of it themselves. They would do a cut of silage for themselves, but all the rest of it would be sold to other farmers and to um, horsey people as well. Horsey people loved the hay that we made because it was it was weed free. It was completely weed free and so it was really good quality. We fetched a premium price for that hay. So we'd just load it straight onto a lorry out in the field and then drive it. Sometimes we'd unload it back in the yard uh, usually it would just go straight out um, but because and even if we loaded it it took it back to the yard we'd still use the lorry because you could put twice as much on the lorry as you could onto the tractor and trailer and um, it was it was just easier so you could really pile the thing high but it was and um, nine times out of ten every load we, you'd only handle it the once because you didn't want to handle it again it was they, I think they would keep like a lorry load for themselves and then all the rest was taken out and sold and um, they keep the, the lorry load for themselves was for the um the calves they process hay a little bit better than they process silage so um they, they would have that for the young calves but um other than that nope it was all for um selling to people and they would make a fortune out of it um i didn't personally make a fortune out of it i i've made a little bit of money but um i did this back when i was very young in school and it was mostly for fun and mostly I did it just for fun for being able to do tractor driving um, to be able to help with the harvest um, with, with doing the hay and that it was brilliant I, I absolutely loved driving tractors the only thing I want to do back then was drive tractors it was literally the only thing I want to do I have since learned the error of my ways um, spending all your time sat in a tractor cab does get a little bit tedious after a while and it's no longer something that I wish to spend all of my time doing I don't mind doing it occasionally um, but yeah, back then, that was what I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was sit in a tractor, so I would go and I would do that completely for free, and I was allowed to sit in a tractor. I would spend hours and hours and hours driving tractors turning hay. Um, it's amazing how quickly turning hay can lose its gloss, can lose its shine. Um, I don't mind, I still quite enjoy doing the rowing up. There's something about the rowing up that's a lot more interesting than just driving around the field, turning it. Just literally, it would all it would do is just fluffs it up. Um, it, that did get a bit tedious after a while. Um, even back then, it would start to get tedious, and that was saying something because I never thought that I would get tired of driving a tractor. But occasionally, I would get tired of turning hay. But then you get to go and do the rowing up. So much more fun that is. I don't know why. It's something very, very satisfying about driving around the field with this machine, scraping all of the hay and everything all up into a heap. It was. I, I just can't, I, it's one of those things you can't really explain, it's one of those um, really satisfying sort of things that you see, you've no idea why it's so satisfying, you just know that it is, it's beautiful, it's wonderful to behold, and you don't ever want it to change, and it's, it, there's something about rowing up that I've always liked. Right, that's actually all done, we're done, it was very, very quick, it was very easy, it was very simple, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this baler over here, we're, we're leaving it outside, which is probably not the best thing to do to start with, but it's going to be fine. We'll unhitch that one there. What's just happened? Oh. If I go forward a bit, it'll pull it away. The camera does some funny things here. At the moment, they're still having this problem with this, this uh, DMCA, I think it's called. Um, I've probably got the wrong letters. But um, yeah, basically, someone has filed a copyright claim against them for a whole load of different things. Nobody knows who it is, right? Nobody knows who it is. There is speculation. Uh, but nobody currently knows who it is. Um, but basically, it's saying that they've copied a load of things from something else. 
Now, I'm looking at this game, and there's only two games that spring to mind um, for things that have been copied. I can't, I, don't, I can't possibly imagine that Giants would do something like that. And there doesn't seem to be anything in this one that would indicate a um, anything has been... Right, apparently we don't do it like that. So how do we do this? How do we um, load the hay? Uh, the straw. Let's stop there. We jump off. Oop. Um, yeah, so I'm not... I, I have no idea. I genuinely don't know. Do we have to pick the bales up? Ah, lift the bale. What's up there? Oh, there's a bird up there. Uh, so, yeah... If there was a it's agricultural simulator or something like that. I'm not sure what the game was called, track, um, but a lot of people have said that it could very well be them. Um, there is a lot of uh, this is pure speculation, right? This is 100% pure speculation um, that it could be them because their game was so bad. Um, let's be honest, their game was pretty poor, and um, I'm not, I'm not going to um, lie and say that it was excellent. I try. I looked at some of the gameplay videos. It was just really badly optimized, and uh, the visuals on it were terrible. There, there was nothing else to it. It was literally just a copy of Farming Simulator, just done really, really badly, in my opinion. So there is speculation that it could have been them. There is also speculation that it could be cattle and crops because of the way that these guys work with the, the ground and the way that the plowing works and stuff like that. But again, I don't know. I, I can't really see it personally, but um, you never know. So if, if I find more, I will let you know. Uh, but I can't think that any other people would put something out. You've got um, you've got giants. You've got that um, farming simulator type game that was a bit of a flop, and you've got cattle and crops. I cannot think of any others that could possibly have anything resembling any kind of claim, unless you're talking about the Sims because we're building our houses or something. Uh, but that that does that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, how how and why I've got no idea. Nobody seems to know. This is all speculation. Who this is that has done it, nobody knows. And, you know, what's going to become of it, nobody knows either. So eventually we'll find out. And I will keep you updated with absolutely everything that I find out. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if there are any changes. So at the moment, unfortunately, you cannot buy this game, which is a real kick in the teeth for everybody who's watching. As I know, I've had comments quite a few times in the last week that people have been watching this. They really want to buy this game now, try it for themselves, because it looks like so much fun. And it is. This game is awesome. It's brilliant fun. Um, but unfortunately, we can't play it at the moment. Uh, well, you, you can. Anybody that's already got the game can still play the game. Anybody that doesn't have the game is not able to buy it until this thing has been resolved. And we don't know how long it's going to take. If it's a competitor that is trying to put these out of business to make their own game go better, um, it's, I can't imagine that it's going to work very well because eventually it's going to come out who it was that did it. And that is going to really hurt that game. This trailer is full. Okay. I'm going to try and just stack these bales up a little bit. But we'll bring a few of them over here. And um, I'm, I'm going to grab a few of these now. I think it's going to be quicker if we sort of pile these up. And then we're going to take that bale of trailers. Uh, yeah, the, the bale of trailers. And <laughs> we're going to take the bale of trailers. And we're going to take, I think we take the agricultural shop uh, or the market or something. And then we're going to sell them. We're going to sell all of that straw. And apparently you get an absolute fortune for this, which you can then use for buying various other things. It's been recommended that I buy the van as one of the early things to buy because then I can transport loads and loads of stuff back to the farm which I can then use for various upgrades um, and so on and so forth. So we will keep that in mind. I'm just going to get a couple more of these and we're going to leap onto that tractor and we are going to start racing off up the road. I would very much like to find out who has put this legal claim against this game and if I can find out I will tell everybody right that is a that is something that i will do it really bugs me that somebody has done this because i can't see any similarities between this game and any other unless it's a game that we've never heard of that is still in development and yeah, no, nobody knows who who it who it is or what it is right what do we got we've got the agricultural store market over here lupine soy pea canola barley maize wheat um grains and hay bales so we can sell the bales over here that's where we want to go right there which means that we, we can come up that road there and then, you know, it doesn't actually make any difference we, if we go up that way, all the way up to the top, and then down again, or if we go down this way and back up again. We can't cut across here because we don't own this field. We can come out here, 
So we'll put the first star over here, like that, and then we'll head towards that one. So let's go. We want to head... Uh, where's where's the star? Oh, the star is over that way. Uh, is Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go straight out towards this road over here, and then we'll see what we can do. Um, so if I can find out who has filed his claim, I will let you know every single little piece of information that I can, and then um, it's up to you. If you choose to avoid the person that has filed this claim or for avoid their game in the future because of this action then that's entirely up to you i personally unless there is a really good rock solid reason for doing this i will not be involving myself with the people that have filed this claim it's um unless there is an absolutely rock solid reason I'm going to try to avoid them, if at all possible. I, I, I hate this idea. I think it's terrible. It's, I, I love that there's competition between the games because um, competition between developer studios pushes the quality of the games. You get better quality games with the competition because they're all trying to outdo each other and attract you with their better products. But filing false claims against each other, that just... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's poor. That is very, very poor, in my opinion. Um... But anyway, that's that's just my opinion on the subject. Well, I need to get over there to that. Oh, there's actually a back track here, a back road. I didn't see this one marked on the map. So maybe we have a straight line from our farm straight to the agricultural store. If we do, that is going to be a uh, not store, the market, the agricultural market. If we do, this is going to be brilliant because it's going to be a really, really quick road straight in. We can sell our bales and we can make our fortune and then we can head back and we get another load as well. We can bring those out. It's a shame we can't get two of them and string them um, one behind the other. Now, I've said I thought this was set in the States. Some of the styles of the characters and so on seems very m r reminiscent of the US. But I have been told that the developers have stated themselves quite clearly that this is set in mainland Europe, not in the US. So uh, I stand corrected on that point. It is not set in the States. It is set in mainland Europe. Now, where do I go to sell this stuff? I don't know. I don't know how to operate this place. It's a bit of a maze. It's an amazing maze. Oh, maybe we just come over here and then you can go over and you can buy the stuff as well. Do I bring the hay in here? I mean, they're, they're calling it. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm just assuming that they're calling this hay. Let's bring out there. Unhitch hay bale wagon. Lights. Cruise control. Right. I've, I've jumped off. I'm. I'm stuck. I've. I'm. 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 I'm no. No! I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Oh, hang on. Where, what's that? i seen something. Uh, well, I can see my tractor in there. That's, that's not good. Right, there's my tractor. If I move around like this. Ah, wait. Enter. Enter, the, en enter this one. That's what I want to do. <laughs> he jumped me off the tractor and he's moved me so far away that I can't actually get anywhere. Um, so how, how do I do this? How do I... I can unhitch it. I don't want to unhitch it. I want to unload it. Uh, lift the bale. Okay, let's bring that one in here and I'll see what happens if I drop the bale in here. Nothing. Nothing happens if I drop the bale in here. I need to be able to sell these bales. Where can I sell them? I'm at the store. Oh, I found it. You gotta drive into this bit right here. Once you drive into this bit, then you can do it. Sell 20 bales for 3,000 euros. 20 bales for 3,000 euros. Do you understand this? Do you understand the amount of money we have just had for 20 bales? That is insane. That is also very, very cool. So we're gonna go racing back to the farm now and we're gonna grab the next 20 bales and we're gonna get another 3,000 euros. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of good to go, really. I'm seriously considering getting the um, the van that I've been advised to get because you can go and buy the building materials you can put on that and you can use it. But I'm also seriously considering getting a faster tractor, the bigger up, uh, the first tractor. I really want that one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford that one straight away. So we'll take it. We'll take a look around and we'll see what we can get. But we want to get back to the farm a minute so that we can get the rest of those bales get them loaded onto this little old trailer here and get them up and sell them while the money is still good. Oh, there's a person there. There is a person there. What are they going to do? What are they going to say? Let's go and see this person a minute. If I stop right there, jump off. Let me off. Let me off. 
There we go. Right. Uh, person. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Talk to Abigail. I'm busy. What? I'm trying to talk to you. Do you not realize who I am? Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> nice weather, ain't it? You look so good, it almost makes me speechless. Is there something I can help you with? Did you hear the latest news? Thanks, see you around. Um, let's try latest news. I, I don't really want to say that because it just sounds creepy. Um, just to walk up to a stranger. And, um, actually, do we know Ab I'm sure maybe we do know her. I'm not sure. Um, now I actually want to try it. Did you hear the latest news? I heard Mayer was bit by his dog. Uh, well, that's not good. Just what I was thinking. Just what he was thinking. Thanks. See you around. Okay, there's a... There's one conversation. And we got Oliver here. Well, we've, we've spoken Hello. to Oliver before. Good morning, friend. Then politicians, what are they thinking? I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? Care to trade? Uh, I don't really have anything to trade. Let's let's go with that one. Them politicians. What are they thinking? Nah, don't even start bothering me. <laughs> He's not interested. Good luck. See you around. That was a very awkward conversation, really, was it? <laughs> <laughs> that was my tractor. All right, let's let's go back. Okay, we, we we were sidetracked a little bit. Let's let's carry on. Let's go back and get the rest of our bales and take a little shortcut across this grass up here. Because technically, I'm assuming that we own all of this. It's all ours. Our wonderful domain, our empire. Uh, let's just come down in here and get uh, stop right there. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Jump off and. I would like to have like handbrakes and stuff for the trailer, um, for the tractor. I think that would be a bit better. But I mean, I don't mind the way that it works. It would just, I feel it would be a little bit better if you could at least like have a handbrake so that you could stop it when you're moving along, and um, also switch the engine off as well because it's all auto on and off. You just got you got to jump out and it switches the machine off as you go along. However, we got to remember that this game is still early development, so they are they've, there's a long way to go with this before. It actually is is the finished product, so I don't think we need to concern ourselves too much with little details like that just yet. Uh, let's grab you, put you on there. There we go. Uh, I don't see any more bales here for a minute. I'm looking round. I don't see anything. There's there's a couple down over there. Let's go and get those, the ones that are a bit further away. We get those five down there and get them loaded onto the trailer, and then we can come back up. We can just get the last ones. Loaded up and done to finish off. So we'll stop there. Uh, it, it looks like the tractor is swaying, but it's not. It's the stubble. The stubble is the bit that's um, swaying from side to side. But it genuinely looked like the tractor was actually moving from side to side just then. Uh, but that one on there. And we've got another one. There you go. I'm getting pretty good at this. Mind you, I've had years of practice. I've done this many, many times, so I, I have had experience at picking up bales and slinging them up onto a trailer. Even a small, I know that I said that we didn't do it very much, but I have done some with the, um, with just a small trailer. So we'll bring that one, and we're going to end up with three loads altogether. We're going to have this one here, and then we're going to have another part load after that. So stop, 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 stop. There we go. Jump off, and let's grab you. Oop. Nope, nope, like that, and then go, there we go, put bail on trailer, that's what we've got to do each time. You do move around, the, the mouse is very sensitive when you're moving around, and you try and dial it down a bit, it doesn't, it's not quite as, like, optimised as I would like, I would like to be able to sort of have a halfway measure between what we can have, and, there we go, nope, I don't want to drop the bail, I want to put it on the trailer. There. Um. So yeah, I think that the, the, the way that the mouse control could be a little bit sensitive and uh, less sensitive for looking around and we could still have that uh, there's some other I issues i think with the, like the way that the mouse sensitivity worked that i wasn't overly pleased with but it's fine i'm not too worried about it. right the trailer is full how many have i got here i got one two three four five six seven eight nine bales so we got just under half a load left so we get three thousand for this one as well which is going to make six thousand and then another half a load which is about fifteen hundred well probably be fourteen hundred um 
So yeah, we end up with 7,400 euros for our bales. That is a huge sum of money. That is absolutely massive. I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think it's enough to buy the new tractor though, not the big tractor. Unless we could get a little bit of our grain and do something with that as well, maybe that would work. Have to try. We'll have, we'll have a look at that. Maybe we could sell some of the canola. I'm not sure how you make chicken feed though, whether you, whether you can use the grain for chicken feed or if you've got to go and just buy it separately. The advantage this time is that we know exactly where we got to do, uh, got to do, exactly where we got to go, and exactly what we got to do. That's that's the words that I was looking for. It, it did make sense to me in my own head, even if it doesn't make sense to anybody else. But we got to weave in through here. We get into here, which is the bale market, and we stop right there, and then we press enter. We sell twenty bales for three thousand euros, which gives us six thousand three hundred eighty-four. And now we can spin round and race off back home again for the final load, the final nine bales. I am actually wondering, though, if maybe we ought to consider keeping those last few bales for the cows. Because I think at the moment the game just has bales. It doesn't have separate straw and hay. Now, we do have a mower. So I am going to... I tell you what, we'll keep those nine bales. We'll put the nine bales somewhere. We'll put them in a the shed. And we'll then get the mower in tomorrow's episode. We're not going to have time to do it today. We'll get the mower in tomorrow's episode. And we will just very quickly try cutting a little bit of grass. And we will see what that does. Whether or not we can actually turn that into hay as well. Whether we've got to dry it. We've got to do anything like that with it. I don't know at the moment what we're going to have to do. So we're going to give that a go. So we get back there and we get those nine bales. And we're going to put them in a the shed. I don't know how you store them in the shed either. It's going to be interesting to find out. Yeah, this bit of grass up here. I'll try cutting this with the mower and see what we can come up with. See if it'll do anything, allow us to do it or not. Um, I did say last week that I would send a message to the devs and ask them a few questions, if anybody had questions. Um, I'm not going to pester them just yet. They've currently got big, uh, it, you know, big, well, I say bigger. I was going to say they've currently got big issues to deal with, um, with this whole um, legal challenge. So I'm not going to bother pestering them at the moment. Once that has been dealt with and put to bed, then I will send them a message and I will ask them if we're going to have hunting in the game and if we're going to have uh, big bales put in the game and are we going to have mods in the game as well. So there's a few questions there that I'm going to be asking. Um, if there are any other questions you'd like me to ask, then obviously get in the comments section down below. Let me know and I'll make a note of it and I will see if we get any response. If we do, I will obviously be letting everybody know about uh, any replies, any responses, what they have to say on the different subjects, so on and so forth. Uh, now, are there any other bears? A little tiny bit of straw there. I'm not too worried about that. That can stay there. There doesn't seem to be anything else, so we can come over here. Now, we've got this, we've got the store over here. If, if I zoom in a little bit, move on a bit more. Um, it did say somewhere here how it was... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Right, what's it say here? Hay storage. It's best to keep bales under the roof so they won't get wet and rot. How do we... Where do we store? Where do... Where, hay storage over this side, it's sort of suggesting. Um, what is that? Oh, that's that's the strip. That's the um the uh, strimmer over there. Nope, nothing there. So we yeah, the hay storage is suggesting it's this side over here. It's is this area here. So how do we get? If I if I try opening up this door, and I'm going to try driving through. I got the mower right there, which is a bit in the way, but that's fine. And I'll open up that door there, and then we'll go back over to this tractor, and we'll see if it like auto unloads or anything like that. It might, it might not. I'm going to actually just go straight through. And we'll drive round, we'll, we'll spin round out here and we'll see what it does to see if it will auto store or if it doesn't. I, I don't actually know what it's going to do at the moment. I get to there. So let's exit this tractor and grab a bale. Now what? Drop bale. No, I don't want to drop the bale. Drop bale. Right, it's just saying drop the bale. It's not actually saying anything else. So I can just drop the bale there. I think what we do have to do is we just have to pick the bales up and dump them in there in like a big heap. Um, because, yeah, it's just saying hay storage. It's not actually saying anything else with it. So we've got the, we've got the hay cleared off the field. In tomorrow's episode, uh, how do I, there we go, drop the bale. 
In tomorrow's episode, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try cutting a little bit of hay. We're going to use that mower right there. We're going to go out and we're going to see if we can cut grass and what that will do, whether it gives us a different bale, if there's anything in particular we've got to do. We might have to get a hay turner, in which case we're not going to be able to do it yet because we don't. obviously we don't have the hay turner. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting some um, repairs done. We're going to finish doing the repairs all around on the farm here. We've, we've just got this barn here that we've got to finish. There's a few bits and pieces. We've already done the roof on this one. And we've got this one over here to do as well. I think I may have even done the roof on that one as well. So the roof has all been done. We've just got to do the walls and the interiors. And we get all of that done. Um, I did say I was going to look at how much canola we got last time. And then I completely forgot the end of the episode. We got almost 10 tons of canola there. And then you look over here for the wheat. We got 7.4 tons. So we got more canola than we did wheat. So canola did really well. And let's just take a look at the map. See what the price is. You look over here. Uh, canola is 792 and then wheat you won't go down here to the windmill 576 and 700 for barley 700 for barley over there and then on here it's 467 uh, 360 for wheat whereas this one is 576 so you do pretty well for wheat canola up here is almost 800 pounds uh, 800 euros a ton so it's actually pretty sweet if we go for the canola um we won't worry about it right now, though. So, uh, but yeah, we, we've got all of this stuff to come in our next few episodes and try and make a big pile of money. And we want to finish the quest around here. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.